Uh, my name is Willis Winters. I am the former retired director of the Dallas Park and Recreation Department, now the director emeritus of Dallas Park and Recreation. If you had 30 minutes to come to Fair Park and uh, wanted to hit the high points, well, first, I'm not sure you can do it in 30 minutes, but I would start at the, at the front gates, the centennial front gates on Perry Avenue, where the current guard station is today. The uh, front gates are original to 1936, and in the whole experience of uh, the esplanade, from the front gates through the esplanade and terminating in today's Hall of State, which was built as the State of Texas building, in 1936. I think walking that, you know, half mile from the front gates to the Hall of State is what I would recommend. Uh, it's flanked by the first building on the left is uh, today what we call the Women's Building. Originally, it was the State Fair Livestock Coliseum built in 1910. Uh, then it was utilized by Dahl and his staff as the Hall of Administration. So all of the, that's where all the work for the Centennial was done and the Centennial Corporation had their offices. Then moving forward, you uh, approach the Esplanade Fountain, which is a 600 foot long body of water with uh, synchronized music uh, and water geysers. It's incredible. Flanked on either side, on the left by today's Centennial Building, which in 1936 was the Hall of Transportation and Chrysler Hall at the far end. And then flanked on the right by today's Automobile Building, which was the Hall of Electricity and Communications and the Hall of Varied Industries in 1936. So these, these were the main exhibition halls uh, at Fair Park uh, for the Centennial Exposition. And this is where the whole idea of the Six Flags over Texas really came forward for the first time. Each of these halls had three gigantic porticos, architectural uh, porticos. Each portico had a monumental sculpture in front of it that represented one of the six nations that blew their flags over Texas uh, throughout its history. So Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the United States, the Confederacy are the, six, are the six flags. And that whole idea of the six flags originated in Fair Park in the Esplanade in 1936. Incredible buildings designed by uh, George Dahl and his staff, amazing landscaping. Uh, the murals on the building depicted what was being exhibited inside the buildings. So on the uh, Hall of Transportation, the murals depict the history of transportation, uh, including the first public depiction in the major monumental artwork of space flight. You'll see two Greek figures escorting a Buck Rogers spaceship into outer space. First time that was ever done publicly in major, uh, in major art. The Smithsonian has, has documented that in an exhibition. On the other side of the Esplanade are the murals that depict electricity, uh, radiology, x-rays, photography, uh, metal work, and other heavy industries. And also, it's, I think it's very important to know that in those murals on today's automobile building, also the figures in those are very diverse uh, culturally and ethnically. So it's the first time that African Americans and Mexican Americans were shown in many monumental art in, in the, I want to say in the United States, perhaps, uh, here, in, here in Dallas. So the, the architecture here at Fair Park falls under the category of Art Deco, and it was a very popular mode of architectural expression that begins in the mid-1920s at a Paris exposition uh, in 1925, uh, continues on uh, through the late 20s by the time it arrives in America. In the early 30s, it is entrenched uh, throughout uh, the United States is the uh, primary and, and very popular uh, mode of architectural expression, popularized by a lot of major architects, including a Philadelphia architect named Paul Philip Cray, who actually was brought to Dallas by Dahl to consult on the, the general plan of the exposition grounds. It, amazing planning work. It's a, to study the plan of, of the Centennial is a delight. Uh, he also participated, uh, I think had some influence on the design of the Hall of State or the State of Texas building, and also on the Dallas Museum of Fine Arts on, on the lagoon. So we have this, this influence from a major East Coast architect that was also working alongside Dahl. Then there was another architect named William Lascaz, who was uh, in New York, uh, worked with a partner named William Howe, uh, uh, the firm Howe and Lascaz, and they were one of the 
first architecture firms in the United States that designed modern architecture. He designed the Magnolia Lounge uh, here at Fair Park, which was one of three or four uh, uh, petroleum company hospitality lounges. And you have to remember that in the summer of 1936, so the exposition opens on June 6th uh, and continues through October, and it's 100 degrees. It was a, even a hot summer for Dallas. Uh, and it was really before air conditioning was truly invented, yet the, the small buildings, these hospitality lounges, were air conditioned buildings, some of the earliest air conditioned buildings in the country. The other, the larger exhibit halls also had air conditioning, and I'll use that in quotes, is probably, you know, they were trying to lower the temperature 10 degrees from 104 to, you know, the low 90s, but they were successful. So they were able to, to uh, advertise the Centennial Exposition as the first air conditioned World's Fair, and it, it truly, it truly was. You could walk through, I think the, the, the uh, tally was seven miles of interior passageways through all the exhibit halls in, in air-conditioned comfort. And I'll encounter visitors from around the world that are uh, just almost in tears that, you know, they're, and they appreciate art and architecture and they've heard about it or read about it, come here, and they're almost in tears that uh, they've had the chance to experience Fair Park and the, and the Art Deco buildings of the Centennial Exposition because they're all mostly intact from that era and uh, very emotionally overpowering experience to see that.